What um, what other fandoms do you get attention from? Obviously, we're talking to you because of Transformers, but do you yeah. get interview requests from other yeah. fans? Oh, yeah, I get stuff? requests for, for Stargate. Um, I'm actually going to England in January for a Stargate convention. And I uh, get calls for... Uh, for other cartoon shows like the, like He Man and Robots and and uh, but mostly the mostly the the fan base is for 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 Transformers because they uh, they're fans of anime or animation anyway but that that's uh, one that seems to be a linker but uh, that's it I get recognized I get recognized all the time on the street or you know on the bus or getting on an airplane and things like that for the, all the, the movies and stuff that I've done. But yeah, there are the, the fans, you know, the, as far as cartoons go, nobody has any idea, but I'll tell you, it's a, it's a good laugh when you, when you, uh, you go up to somebody, I went up to somebody, the guy who created the show, um, Eureka, you know, the show Eureka. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I worked on the pilot of that. I did the pilot episode of that. And the creator of that show is a big um, cartoon fan. He does a, um, I think he does a, a comic book called Dark Nation or something. Hmm. I can't remember. But they, they, he, he found that I was He-Man, and he went, oh, my God, you're He-Man. And, I'm, and, I, and he said, can you sign my He-Man? And I said, sure. So I signed his He-Man action figure. And here's a guy who creates a you know a very successful TV show, and but still <laughs> get all geeky when it comes mm-hmm. to cartoons. <laughs> but it's, it, that's just the way it is. I mean, uh, I uh, I have uh, I have uh, a lot of people that I admire too. Like I'm, I'm I I really uh, admire uh, uh, my friend Don Alder, who's a the world's best finger pick guitar player and I see him and talk to him all the time and and uh I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of um who am I also not a huge fan of oh well, I'm a huge fan of as I said before, Mel Blank and Dawes Butler. I wish they were still alive. I'd I'd go and see them in a second. I just mm-hmm. think they're tre- tremendous. And uh and Frank Welker Maurice LaMarche, all those guys. Yeah, baby. They're great. Okay, so um, some of your voice roles have been associated with uh, cartoons associated with toy lines. Uh, Do you have any of the toys from any of the work you've done? Yep. I got a Bucky O'Hare. I got Popeye, He-Man, Transformers. Uh, Mega Man. Uh, who else? Street Fighters. Um, who else? Who else? No, I don't have any Barbies. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any Barbies. I did work on there, but I don't have any Barbies. Um, so I got Sonic and I got, um, what else? Oh, I got some G.I. Joes, too. Yeah, I got them all. When it comes to something like recording your voice for toys or something related to the show, is that something that's in your contract, or do they come back to you later and ask you to do it? And are there some other toys that you know, you've kind of lent, lent your voice to? Well, I, I, uh, the, that's a separate contract when you're doing voicing for the toys. I've uh, voiced on on uh, Transformers. It's the only one I think I've voiced on. I have a friend of me, a friend of mine, who swears that I am the voice on The Perfect Man. There's a, used to be a doll, and the, they'd sold in uh, Target and Walmart called The Perfect Man. It was a Perfect Man doll, and you push a button, it would say, "Hi, honey. I think you're wonderful. Gosh, you look terrific today." You know, and she swears it's me, and I don't remember recording it, but she says, no, it's you. I know it's you. Listen, listen. And I said, well, it does sound like me, but I don't think it's me. Well, maybe it's that guy that does you in Spanish. Oh, that damn guy. He follows me around. It's like, you know, the evil monkey. (sighs) Uh, 
Yeah, but uh, no, I love doing that. Uh, 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 that I think Transformers. What a funny story about that! I was uh, at the park last summer or uh, this summer, and there was this kid, and he was wearing the the Transformers, uh, you know, Optimus head, you know, with the uh, the the voice, you know, when you push a button and he would go Transformers, transform, you know, all that and roll out. And uh, so I heard my, I, I heard him playing the scene, and I heard my voice on the toy, and I'm going, hey, that's my voice. It's on the toy. Oh, yeah, hey, he's got a toy. So I went up beside him, and I said, transform, 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 <laughs> transform. <laughs> he goes, Dad, my machine is broken. Transform. And I said, no, it's just me. And, he goes, and, he, <laughs> and, and the Dad says, what do you mean? You? No, that's me. And he pushes the button, and he goes, transform and roll out. And I go, Transform and roll out. And he goes, oh, my God, that's you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then he goes to his kid, and his kid looks at me, and, and he says, this is the guy who does the voice in your thing. And he go, and the kid looks at me, and he goes, oh, Dad, it's not working. No, no. <laughs> or, or I get people call me, that would call me and ask me to wish their kids happy birthday as, you know, you know, they're youngster when they're like six, seven years old. And say, oh, do your Optimus thing and just say happy birthday. And I called this one kid up and I said, hey there, Holly. Just want to say that your mother thinks you've been a really good boy this year, and I just want to wish you a happy birthday. So this is happy birthday from Optimus Prime. Silence, silence, <laughs> silence. Harley, you're there, and he goes, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday, and he goes, say something. <laughs> and I said, what? Say a, say a, say an optimist thing. And I just went, maximals, maximize, and he goes, oh, what? Well, <laughs> and then, then you hear, shut up, you guys! I'm talking to Optimus. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, so anyway, have a happy birthday. And, they, and then there was silence, silence, silence. And he goes, and happy birthday to you too. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it was very funny. Uh, you get those every once in a while. Yeah, don't change your number. I'll call you back in six years when my daughter's old enough to, uh, okay. to be a fan. <laughs> the seeds to the future lie buried in the past. <laughs> So, so, Happy so, birthday. So, so as an actor, did you ever wonder what that meant? Because I don't even know what that means. I have no idea. <laughs> well, of course. I mean, of course I know what it means. Because you know, it's like the old the, the old thing from Little Acorns, Mighty Oaks Do Grow, you know, from the seeds of the past or the seeds of the future are buried in the past. So everything that we – every we are the sum of our history. That's what we are. That's deep. At least that's what I thought I'd <laughs> <laughs> how, much, 